Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So after updating your Windows 11 to version 25H2, if the Wi-Fi is not working, then please follow the steps shown in this video. The first step is to simply restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working, make a right click on the start menu. Go to device manager. And then expand network adapters over here. Over here, you will see your Wi-Fi adapter. So make a right click on your Wi-Fi adapter and then click on update driver. Click on browse my computers for driver. Let me pick from the list of available drivers on my computer. And then you might see multiple driver over here. You can select the older one or maybe the newest one. You can try one by one and then click on next. And once the installation is complete, you can close this and then you have to connect to your Wi-Fi. You can try to connect to your Wi-Fi once again. If not working, make a right click on the Wi-Fi adapter and then click on uninstall device. Click on uninstall. And once it is gone, now over here you will see scan for hardware changes. Click on it. And then you will see your Wi-Fi adapter. Now when you do so, you have to, when you try to connect, it will, it will be asking for your Wi-Fi password. So make sure that you have the password. So type in the password now you can check still not working make a right click on your uh, adapter once again click on uninstall and then you have to click on uninstall and then restart your computer and after the system restart when you restart your computer during the system restart it will install the adapter and then you can check I'm not restarting right now, but make sure that you restart your computer after this, and then you can connect to your Wi-Fi once again. Again, it will be asking for your password, your Wi-Fi password, and then you can connect. Now, still not working. Like, if the adapter is not showing at all after updating Windows 11 to version 25H2, in that case, you can go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, and then you can install the driver. Now I understand you are not going, you are not able to go online. In that case, if you if your computer has an Ethernet port and if you have an Ethernet cable, you can use the wired connection and then check. Or if you have any other computer which has the internet access, uh, you can go to that computer and then you can install the drive. For example, if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell website. If you have a Lenovo, go to Lenovo. If you have HP computer, go to HP website. Go to your system manufacturer website. On the same computer, if you have the Ethernet access, if you don't have Ethernet access, you can access your system manufacturer website on the computer, another computer which has the Internet access. And then you can select your model number. Make sure that you select your computer. And this is just an example. So select your computer. And once you select your computer, you will see, uh, you can go to drivers and download page. You can go to drivers and find, uh, and find the driver. And then you can find the uh, network driver. Cut. Yeah. So over here you will find network driver so you can find the network driver whichever is your network adapter in my case uh, it's uh, you can check um, you will when you select your model number you will find your driver it's ax201 so whichever is your uh, wireless uh, card you can just click on download and you can download that file uh, Yeah. Once the download is complete, you can transfer this uh, file to your to your USB flash drive. You can, if you are using another computer which has the internet access, you can copy this file. Uh, you can go to like show in folder, and you will see your uh, card over here. You can just uh, your driver over here. You can copy it, and if you have any flash drive, hard drive connected, you can transfer it to the flash drive or hard drive, and then you can connect that flash drive or hard drive to the computer on which the Wi-Fi is not working and you can install that driver. You can just make a double click and then you can install that driver 
on, it, on your computer and once it is installed you can install it and once installed restart your computer and after the system restart you can connect to your Wi-Fi it will be asking for your password and then you can check still not working in that case you can do one thing you can go to Windows update and you can roll back to version 24H2 so like if version 25H2 is not working for you like the Wi-Fi is not working in that case you can go to Windows update advanced option go to recovery option and over here you can you you will see an option go back highlighted over here so you, if you, if that is highlighted you can go back and it will switch to version 2 for h2 and then you can connect to your wi-fi so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel